Hi, Ross here from STS again. Today I've put together some slides showing some of the basic components that uh, we make for our SDS EFI kits. And here we've got uh, a four-cylinder system. And the six-cylinder system. Here's a main wiring harness we supply and we supply all the other harnesses as well. And here's our dual board ECU. A dual fuel pump module. And here's a few slides of our billet Lycoming flywheels. We can supply these in the bare finish or anodized in a variety of colors as you can see here. Here's our 60 millimeter billet throttle body used on four cylinder engines and uh, vertical induction 540 engines. Fuel filters that we supply, also billet. We can supply several different cover plates. You can see the Magneto cover plate, Romec uh, fuel pump cover plate, and the standard fuel pump cover plate. Here's a Lycoming IO540 engine with our SDS billet valve covers. Here's a Lycoming 360 engine, again with our billet valve covers anodized in red this time. Here's a coil pack mounted in the original magneto hole on a 540 engine. We can mount them both here. Here's the top mount for the 540. That's another option. And a third option is mounting them on the firewall if uh, you don't have space on the back of the engine or the top of the engine. Here's a shot of the six cylinder coil pack mounted on a dual mag engine. That's one more option. And here's the uh, dual crank sensor setup on a 540 engine. Here's the 80 millimeter throttle body mounted on a 540 engine with horizontal induction. Here's a dual ECU setup in Kyle Fowler's Long Easy. You can see the computer and the map sensors at the top and the injector relays at the bottom there. Here's a single ECU setup in the supercharged rocket. This is a 540 engine and an RV10 with the uh, billet flywheel again. This shows a standard thread end top mount injector on a 360 engine. Here's the SDS programmer mounted in the panel of uh, Kyle Fowler's Long Easy and in Les Kearney's uh, RV10 panel. Here's the fuel pump module mounted in Kyle's Long Easy. You can see the filters uh, inlet and outlet as well. Here's some of the control switches for the EFI system in Les Kearney's RV10. Did a nice job here. This is an SDS installation on a supercharged IO540 rocket. This is Ray Watson's uh, LS3 powered Murphy Moose. Dave Anders' very fast and very efficient RV4. Kyle Fowler inverted over Oshkosh 2019. Jeff Ackland's P85, again powered by an LS3 V8. And finally, Andy Findlay's Super Legacy, two-time Reno Sports Class winner.